Once they name dropped, literally my panties dropped at the same time. <sighs> What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Mav Attack. This is Ubisoft's E3 press conference summed up into a nice little bite-sized video so you don't have to watch the whole freaking hour and a half long conference so let's do it so Ubisoft actually started really super duper strong coming out with a new South Park game called South Park the fractured but whole game now this is going to be a different end of the South Park spectrum now in the stick of truth this was more swords you know archers you know magic mages and all that stuff but this time they're going with the superhero theme that we've seen in South Park so get ready to play as some freaking South Park characters in some superhero costumes in the town of South Park coming real soon and that's how they kicked off the conference a new third person slasher was announced called for honor and it looked freaking it looked epic like you can play as three different factions there was samurai i think viking and like uh, uh warrior something something like that but three different factions you could play with your friends as a third person action game which really reminded me of uh bushido blade if you guys ever played bushido blade it reminded me of that with the sword play it looks like a freaking awesome game so shout out to ubisoft for that one because that's something that's really on my radar. Uh, in a way of expansion, there's a new crew expansion called Wild Run, which has you in different vehicles, different settings. It just looks like a crazy freaking expansion to the game. And then speaking of expansion, there's a new Trials expansion, which the tra Look at this trailer. Some more new Division gameplay was actually shown, showing off some of the dark zones in the game. Now the crew goes in and sees some scavengers sitting around. Now right before they're about to attack and go get this rare loot, another squad of human players comes up behind them. Now they're friendly, so they don't bother them, so they kind of team up and go tackle it together. Once they get the loot, they try to go to an extraction zone, some stuff pops off, and they're betrayed by one of their own teammates. So it looks like anything is possible in the world of The Division. There's a world building game called Anno, which is much like SimCity, but it's like a futuristic type of world builder where you can like build your own town and cities and stuff and it's all futuristic and then you could like slowly colonize up and build up to like the moon and go out and get Jason Derulo came on stage for uh, just dance and it actually sounded I actually thought and I didn't see it when it first happened I didn't see it I just heard it and I thought a goat was singing on stage so yeah, he didn't have auto-tune, so that like did him no justice whatsoever. It was pretty bad. And there's also like a premium service that you can pay for that you get like unlimited songs on the PS4, the Xbox One, and then the Wii U. So I guess if you're into Just Dance that heavy, I guess you could do like a premium service where you get like tons of songs and tons of content. Angela Bassett actually stars as Six in Rainbow Six Siege, which she'll be your, like your commander. She like issues you commands, the main brains behind the operation in Rainbow Six Siege, which not only do they show Angela Bassett being like a full-on actor in the game, Game, but they showed a four-player co-op mission where you had to go in and breach this building with these NPC players Just like the multiplayer footage that we've seen It's the same exact thing but with NPCs so you can team up with your friends and play some of this co-op stuff A new arcade racing game called track mania which was previously on the PC is coming to consoles And it's got some crazy freaking levels a crazy level creator It's like over-the-top arcade racing which actually looks refreshing uh, more Assassin's Creed syndicate gameplay was shown But uh, but yeah Finally, the last game that they showed, they kind of went out with a bang here, and it had me like extremely moist, like like a freshly baked cake it had just come out of the oven moist. I mean like super moisty. They showed this gameplay trailer with these guys parachuting in, and they went in and they were like sneaking up on this base, and then they were taking people hostage, and they were doing all this stuff, third person action game, and it's got co-op, and I'm like, what is this game? Once they name dropped, literally my panties dropped at the same time. <sighs> but the title is Ghost Recon Wildlands, and man, but overall, Ubisoft actually had a really awesome conference. Uh, a lot of these games were like, wow, oh, oh. Like they had some new games come out and then they did some more content on previous games that they've shown already in the past. And it's just, there's just a ton, of, like it, it was just, it was just a great conference. It was, it was up there with Bethesda as far as conferences go. And uh, I was really impressed by some of the stuff they had shown at this conference. But uh, if you guys found this video helpful, let's hit that like button. Uh, be sure to come back to Mav Attack for some more E3 coverage. Like I said in my previous EA video, I'm going to be pushing these videos out, covering all the press conferences and everything. And I'm actually behind right now. So I'm going to record some more. But um, all you Heat stay rad. And all you Heat stay fab. And I'll see you guys all on the next episode of Mav Attack. Motherfucker.